Watch you guys, got another video here for you. Now this one's been requested by a few of my YouTube members on how to fix Windows shutdown issues. Now this is quite a uh, broad topic and the reason for that is it could be numerous different things. So I've tried to fit in the most common stuff that you can do that will actually fix a lot of your issues. And we'll just sort of verbally cover some of the issues that may be your problem, okay, first. So first things first, it could be malware related, okay, so always do scans with malware and stuff like that. Um, we're not going to be covering that in this video. Uh, two, it could be a third party software or driver that you've installed on the system just recently and that's now causing the problem. I, it could be a, div, a piece of hardware you've plugged in to the computer and you put the software on it doesn't like it and it's having trouble uh, shutting that down or closing that uh, piece of software down. It could also be a device that you've plugged into your computer. Okay, Now if you've got a device plugged in that it doesn't like then it's going to have problems with that also so they're the three areas that you need to check okay so the drivers issue I'll show you how to rectify and roll back a driver but that's as far as I can take that okay so that said let's get uh, started so we're going to be doing some registry edits here so make sure you back up your registry and I'll take no responsibility for any uh, loss of uh, data that you may have if you uh, do these types of fixes okay so let's get started anyway so first off, uh, we're going to come into the registry editor and we're going to type reg edit here. Now once we've got the uh, registry editor open, we're going to need to make sure we've got a backup. Okay, and this is important. So we're going to go file export and we're just going to call this backup. You can call it whatever you like here. We're just going to stick that in the my documents. So if there's any problems, we can always revert back and this is going to back up the whole of your uh, registry okay okay so the next thing we need to do is we're going to go to HK local machine and we're going to come down to system and then current control set the third one down okay and then control and the first thing you want to look for is this uh, wait to kill service timeout so once you see that we want to change this now that means 12,000 that means 12 seconds so the rule of thumb here is the lowest you want to take this is 2000 which is two seconds but you maybe want to try 5000 which is five seconds first okay but we're going to go straight for the 2000 here but if you find that's too much you can always uh, up that as i said okay now we've got that done let's uh, close these back and we're going to go into a new location h key current user okay and once we get into HK current user, we're going to go to control panel, pull that down, and we want to go desktop. Now inside the desktop on the right hand pane here, what we're looking for is a wait to kill app timeout. Now if you don't see it here, you can actually add a new one in. But if you do see it in there, you need to change that also to 2000. There's not one inside here, so I'm going to quickly create one, okay? So I'm going to go right click on the blank space and go new string value. And we're going to call this uh, wait to kill app timeout. So we'll just quickly uh, run timeout like so. All one word like so. Then we can double click on this and make this 2000. Okay. And what that's going to do. Let's kill that app timeout and make it 2000. Now also what you want to make sure that you've got inside here is another uh, location called auto end task. Now you want to look inside here and if you have an auto end task you want to set that to 1 okay to disable that. So it's not inside mine but if it's inside yours inside here auto end task then you need to set it to 1. Okay that's now all finished with that's our registry editing done. What we need to do now is we can create a shortcut on the desktop to shut down, which makes it a lot quicker. 
and you've probably seen this already but we'll just quickly do this to cover it we we'll right click on the desktop here and hit shortcut and then we're gonna make this shut down okay like so dot exe and then space dash s and then space dash t and then space zero zero and that's make sure there's zeros and not o's okay and then space dash f like so and that's uh for shutdown and time equals zero which means there's going to be no time it's going to shut down if you want to make it a bit more time you can add change these zeros to numbers and it will delay the shutdown okay go next leave it whatever you like here as the name of it I'm going to finish that one up now that's our shutdown icon it doesn't look very pretty I can see uh, but we can change that and right click on there and go properties like so and uh, what we want to do here is come down to where it says change icon I'm going to click OK here and you can see here there's our icon there and we're going to change it to this shutdown one here and then apply that and OK and you can see that's now changed our shutdown icon and that will then shut the system down instantly when we click on that OK OK so if you want to take your investigation uh, further and you want to try to fix some issues and none of these have worked you can always try SFC scan now and also um, check this again you can open the uh, command prompt up here and we're going to type cmd here and right click uh, on there and run this as administrator once you've got that open okay you can put check disk space forward slash question mark and that will give you all the switches that you need okay to find out what you want now this fixes errors on the disk and also repair locates bad sectors uh, which is what you want and the X will force uh, the volume to dismount which is exactly what you want so they're the ones that I would uh, suggest you run and you can do that by and we'll just uh, clear screen there what we'll do here is check disk like so forward slash R forward slash F and forward slash X so what that's going to do is uh, relocate and fix and also dismount the um, drive itself and run that okay push enter and run that now if that doesn't work then also okay the final one we're going to look at is a uh, SFC scan now and you can do SFC space forward slash uh, question mark and this will give you all the switches that you can use here okay to give you some idea of what's going on with the system and it will check all the system out okay and uh, you can do that by as I said we're going to clear the screen here and type SFC space forward slash scan now all one word like this and you run that and that will do a check on the system and you should fix a lot of your issues okay now if you're still having problems after that then there's other issues that it may be that you need to do more further investigation okay so now we've got all that set let's uh, do one more thing in the registry before I do that just in case you've got a problem now there is a hot fix for a delay shutdown okay and uh, you can use this hotfix on the uh, Microsoft website here and I will put the link in the description for you okay now what they do here is I'll quickly go to the location and I'll show you and I'll just quickly open this up and you may find a bit of background noise in the video that's because I've got the windows open because it's hot so uh, let's let's go back here okay so where we want to go to is HK local machine here and then we want to go system again current control set which is there okay and then we want to go control open this up a bit so you can see and then we want to look for session manager down the bottom here so inside session manager we want to look for memory management okay so inside here we'll look for memory management so open this one up and there it is there and in the inside there we can see clear page file at shutdown now sometimes people have this set and it will cause a, a, a long shutdown or delayed shutdown or a non shutdown it will just stick on the shutdown screen and what you can do is change this okay 
So you want to make sure this is on zero. If it's got a number inside here, number one or something like that, then take that one out and put a zero in there and an OK that OK. Mine's OK, so we're just going to leave that as is. OK, and remember that one is, let me just pull this open so you can see it. Clear page file at shutdown. OK, so that one's uh, now done. So I did say about the actual uh, driver issue. So what we need to do here is right click on my computer here and go properties. And I'm going to open up device manager like so. And if you have put any uh, sort of software on a hardware and the driver is on the system, you want to look for any question marks or exclamation marks in here. And uh, just say for argument's sake, it was this uh, display adapters. As you can see, this is virtual box. Yours will be a graphics card here. If you've just updated the graphics card drivers and you're having issues, you can always right click on this. OK, and go to properties here and go to the driver and you want to roll that driver back. OK, and by doing that, what you're going to do is put the older driver back onto the system. It will roll back to that and that sometimes fixes the issue. If you've got issues with drivers, that is OK. It might not be your display driver, could be something else or go to the manufacturer's website and download an older driver or more stable driver okay and do some research that way as for the uh, malware side and the other bits and pieces uh, then you need to sort of rectify those yourself uh, other than that devices that you're plugging in take everything out of the computer and do uh, a normal uh, restart and I'll show you one more thing I'll go to MS config here and we're going to open this up and this is another little trick that you can do okay uh, to do a restart and you want to do selective startup okay and you want to take the load startup items here take the tick out of this and then once you've done that you want to go to services here and you want to hide all Microsoft services like so apply that and okay that and then reboot the system and see uh, what happens there you want to get into safe mode if you want and that will load up and see whether you get any problems on shutdown if it shuts straight down then you know there's a service or something else that's causing that issue okay so I'm going to close that off and I think that's going to be about it for this video I think I've covered just about everything I can so I hope you enjoyed it my name is uh, Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you find this video useful then hit that like button guys it really does help me out and also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date with all my latest videos and I'll be making more videos every week so thanks again for watching guys and thanks for your support bye for now